Hello lovely. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine. I had posted a hair video and this like makeup look got a lot of like traction and so I was like, hey, why not? Um, today is like my family's Christmas, actual Christmas time. My whole family had COVID so we had to cancel and just push it back. Everybody is good and healthy and well now and today we're celebrating our Christmas so that's what I'm gonna be getting ready for today. I have my entire makeup box right here. I'm just gonna be going through it and I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use, how I use it, and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> First and foremost, you always want to put a moisturizer on your face. Whatever moisturizer you like to use, go ahead and throw that on. Personally, I like to use coconut oil. Um, that's just like my go-to. It's been my go-to for years. I'm just going to melt that in my hands. And first, how I apply it is I just like pat on my face. And then... I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I use the Got To Be Glued for my brows. Um, I typically use it out of this little container just because it's like my travel size container. So I use this the most, especially like when I'm going places and it's just easier to grab and I can just scoop it out of there. And then I... And then I use some type of spoolie. This is um, a ColourPop like brow pencil so i have a i don't know if you can see it but i have a good amount on there and i'm just going to i'm just gonna place it on there and like spread it out evenly <laughs> let's sit for a couple minutes seconds i always say minutes and i always mean seconds because Minutes and seconds are completely different. Um, and then you start pushing up and like that way, like swooping your brow that way. And then I just repeat the process until it gets like perfect. And then I take my finger to kind of like set my brow down so that it doesn't move and then because I don't like the feathery like effect at the top I just brush those down to the side okay but that's it okay it looks a mess just because <laughs> I was brushing it but yeah then I'm gonna do the other side Now, you have to clean up the glue from your skin. Again, this is like my travel case, but I use simple uh, micellar water. I just put it in here because it's my traveling bottle. Um, and then I take tips, get it wet. And you're just gonna clean up any excess glue that's on your skin, just like that. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the color chocolate. And I'll put it on the back of my hand just so it's easier for me to move around. And then I take a like edged brow brush. And since there's already been product on it, I like how it's kind of like shaped um, because the product has dried on it over time. And so it's like formed to how I like it. 
but I just dip my brush in the product and then you never want to start at like the beginning of your brow because you don't want it to be heavy you want it to be light to dark weighty part is gonna go towards the front of your brow but I always start from here and I start pushing some product up and then yeah I just keep pushing up and then with like light product on the end of the brush I'll start to create like that line that illusion that I you know have brows and yeah just gonna fill in the tail of my brow Um, okay, and then I go back in with a spoolie. This time I just get it wet with my saliva. <laughs> just to kind of make it more clean and precise. And just because I like it to look a little bit more like ombre-ish, I'll like take off some product just to make my brows a little lighter. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and do the same thing with this side and shape it and everything. All right. Brows done. Next eyeliner. I don't know how well I will be able to do this on camera. The best brand of eyeliner and like the most beautiful colors is ColourPop. I love ColourPop. Um, this stuff does not smudge. Like I went to sleep with it on one time and I woke up the next day. My eyeliner was still slit. It was gorgeous. So I was like, this is, this is suspicious, but it's beautiful and I love it. Um, I typically always use the color brown. It's like my go-to. I use black. Um, I like to start drawing like a thin line, like right here towards the end of my eye and going like out. So going like that. And then I'll start from like the very, very corner of my I and I'll go all like connected to and go up and then from the top sorry I'm not talking to this and then from the top I'll like go from there and then make it a thicker line down basically it for that obviously it needs to be cleaned up a little because i did a thin line from here all the way to here and then i did like a little oh you'll see Like that, it's very thin. And then I like to go in between my lashes to make it look fuller. Like a eyeliner. Probably look crazy right now. Yeah, it just makes it like a darker line. And then I'll go here. Oh, I'm just on my foot. And then <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> And then I'll do another thin line to connect it. For that cat eye effect. This 
is like my favorite eyeliner. I don't think I do eyeliner without doing a, like a little like cat eye. I think it's just so cute. Cute. Okay. Um, and then I'll go in with a spoolie. With it with my, you know, saliva. And I'll just clean that up. Just to make it a sharper line. But yeah. But this is it. Close up. So, yeah. And then I'm gonna go do the other side off camera. Okay, eyeliner is completed. I think they look pretty identical. All right, next is mascara and lashes. So mascara, I use the Scandal, Scandal Eyes Curve Alert from L London. The brush looks like this, it's a curve. I've used this one for years, I love this one. I've always liked the, the thick brushes. I feel like they just get the job done. Okay, and since we're doing like full lashes, you don't, or personally, I don't put on like too much mascara just because like you're putting on full lashes, so that's the point. It's literally just to help hold your lashes. Um, oh my god, there's mascara like in my eye. That's fun. <clears throat> okay, so now that that one's done, we're going in with my So Wispy Full Bouncy Volume and Curl Kiss Lashes. Number 11. I like number 11 and 01. And there's another one I liked. I think it's 09 or something. I don't know. I like them to look natural. There's glue on it. And I get it out with my tweezers. Hold on, there's like stuff on my tweezers. Okay. Um, you pull from the end because that is the part you're going to end up cutting to make it um, fit your eye shape. Um, so it doesn't matter. Just, you know, still be very light. Oh, yes, I pulled out the right side. I wasn't even paying attention. And then my scissors. For my eye, I normally cut off three of the little, like, strip things. And then going in with their Kiss Lash Glue, this one I love because it has a little brush. I just take the brush and I put it on the top side just because I'm putting my lashes underneath. Whoa, that was a lot of glue. So I'm putting the glue on top of the lash instead of underneath the lash. And then you just wait for it to dry. I like to make sure there's no glue underneath. It's like try to stick or something. <clears throat> Get take glue. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to do this on camera. We're gonna see. I'm gonna put my mirror in between my legs. Okay, and then what I do is I lift my eye up and I'll put it like, not on my waterline because that will irritate your eyes, but I'll put it like on your lashes, like, cool. It's like your waterline, but like, it's like, don't put it on the pink part. So I put it on the part that already has like a mascara and like eyeliner on it. Basically closer to my lashes than like closer to my waterline towards my eye is what I'm trying to say to you. Um, so yeah. 
You always want to put the middle part on first and then fix the two corner pieces as you go. I have it on and then I go in between and push together my real lashes and the false ones so that it's like push up oh sorry the mirror's in the way <laughs> I'm sorry I'm gonna go do my other eyelash okay. all right lashes are on now I go in with a brown eyeliner I love it <laughs> I need more obviously um it's the oh I've broken up all my hands there we go okay this one is the NYX professional liner stick epic wear So I take it and I'm gonna sharpen it just a little bit because it's a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna take it and put it on my waterline and on like the lash band in case like the clear part of the glue or whatever is showing and we don't want that i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my bottom waterline and i also like to connect the two like between like the inner corner Or I guess this would be the outer corner. Inner, outer, right? I don't know. And I only do the liner to like halfway. Um, through my eyes. That's what it looks like. Cool. I'm going to do mascara on my bottom lashes. And I'm actually gonna start with my top ones just to blend in my real lashes with the fake lashes. Okay, but here is the eye difference. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Okay, both eyes done. Now moving on to the fun part. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with my, oh, where's the name? Okay, with my Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. This stuff is actually a miracle. Um, it's the most moisturizing like primer or even just like a good moisturizer. Um, I love this stuff, I've actually had it for like a year. And I just put this on in the spots where I'm gonna put my like blush so that it's like smooth. And this stuff will also make your face like naturally like glowy, which I love that. My favorite palette, I got this um, when I used to do like little sponsorships for like BoxyCharm. I got this in there and like I've been in love with it ever since. Um, it is called Nesting Base. This is what it looks like. Um, and then I use Hush Blush, and then I also use either Sun Kissed, Sun Kissed Snitch or Sun of a Bee. Wow, I've never read these before. It all makes sense now. Anyways, I use those two. It just like, those, those three these three um it just depends on the mood the vibe everything not really you can do whatever and this is my 
blush brush. I'm gonna dip it in this one. And I kind of like it to be a little darker. So do that. Tap it on the side, the old trick. And then I like when my blush like going up. Like, you know, it lifts your face. So I purr. I don't know, I'm literally not a makeup expert. Fun fact about me, I was gonna go into cosmetology. Um but then I didn't. Smile. Okay. I like a lot of blush, like a lot of blush. And then I like to put it around here. I remember I used to do this like lipstick trick where I took like red lipstick and I put it as blush and my grandma actually taught me that when I was younger. I remember I saw her doing that and I was like, you're putting lipstick on your face? And she was like, she was like, actually it is the best trick. And I was like, wow, my grandma was right. So excited to see her today. Yeah. I feel like that's good. See, I feel like my face has come to life already. Like, look at that. Oh, if it wasn't obvious already, I don't use any type of like foundation, concealer, or any of that. Um, personally, for me, it just doesn't. I just don't. A, it's too much work. B, it's just, it's just not for me. <laughs> that that's literally it it's just not for me i just don't like it honestly okay and then my favorite part is putting it on my nose i think it's such a cute place to put it just like that oh i love when blushes on the nose or those girls that can pull off like having like the over exaggerated blush on their face so beautiful i love that someone just came up on my for you page and she had that and she was like touching it up and i was like girl i love this for you it was so cute okay cool beans then we're doing some highlighter this is when kylie and jordan were best friends i miss them oh, but this is from their palette i'm sure she has I have two other palettes that literally look the same as these ones because love Kylie, but she does just like re-replicate everything. Anyways, um, I use this like gold one and then this like bronzy one. Mix those two together. And I just put it on like this. I like to put it here too. Give my, give my entire face a little shimmer. My tip of the nose. And then right here at the top of the bridge. All I use is once again, Kylie Cosmetics. Um, her, this is True Brown K. I love this one. And then just some random gloss I have. Aquaphor on right now. I'm just gonna keep it on to keep my lips moisturized though. But I'll take the brush and I'll just, just because this is like a matte lipstick, I'll just line my lips. line my natural lips not that there's anything wrong with overlining your lips but personally for me can't make it look good like i said you just have to be that girl you just have to be one of those girls and that's just not me just like that 
corners and you don't want it to look like that. Just clean up the corners a little. Okay. And then take my gloss, put it in the center. And then I like it to be like super pink in the middle, so I'll take a Q-tip and wipe it. Okay guys, and that is it. That is my full makeup tutorial from the other day. Here is a closer look. But yeah, that is what everything looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Woo!